you follow any faith, any religion? Yeah, I'm Christian, but I believe in Muslim as well. Okay. I believe in Allah. You believe in Muslim oh, yeah, as well? I okay. believe uh, that Allah is God. Okay, okay. Jesus, what do you believe about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Do you believe he's God? No, no. What, Jesus you... Christ is not God. He was sent by God. Uh, sent by God. Yeah. Uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. He's a messenger of God. Prophet. Correct. That's, we believe yeah. the same as well. Yeah. And what about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? What's your opinion about uh, him? I've never heard about him because I've heard like once, but I don't know yeah. deeply what yeah. did in the world, yeah. you know, but I've heard about him. Yeah, he's a yeah. prophet, isn't he? He's a prophet, a messenger. He's the last and final messenger who was sent to mankind. And he yeah. didn't come with anything new. He came with exactly the same message really? as the prophets who came before. Like Abraham and Moses yeah, yeah, and Jesus, yeah. he's the last and the final one. The last one. The last one, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, so, so if you want to believe correctly in Jesus Christ, you have to believe in Muhammad because the scriptures that came before, yeah, mankind changed and corrupted them. Wow. So you know, like the Bible you have right now, yeah, it's been changed and corrupted. Like, like, like you, you yeah. believe that Jesus Christ is a messenger of God, which is the correct belief. Yeah. But many Christians they believe that Jesus Christ is God or is the Son of God. But you, your belief is more closer yeah. with what the Muslims believe. So if yeah. you read the Quran, which is the last and the Quran. you've got the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're reading the Quran, yeah. Not yet, but I will. Yeah. So okay. if you want to know the guidance to mankind, which has yeah. not been changed by any man, yeah. which is Quran correct, accurate, yeah. then we read the Quran. Because if you read the Quran, you'll know what is accurate in the scriptures that came before. Because man changed and tampered with them. I believe that. Yeah, but the Quran, no one can tamper with it. Because the Quran, there's is revealed in Arabic language. God revealed it in Arabic, yeah. and millions of people have memorized the Quran. Mm -hmm. So you cannot change. If you were to take all the Qurans in the world and destroy them today and ban them, we can produce it within seconds because there's millions of people who have memorized it. It's a miracle because God said He will send it and He will protect it. So no man can change the Quran. And if you were to change a single letter in the Quran, we will know straight away because we've got people who have committed it to their heart and memory. Wow. That's a miracle of the Quran. So what I'm saying, I mean, you, your beliefs are already correct because you believe in one God. 100% because yeah. Jesus, yeah. many Christians, they are yeah. not aware. Yeah. This was calling God. Yes. Hello, uh, Allah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. God, Allah. Yeah, just but like many, next. Many people, they don't, because Allah, God, you know what I mean? Same like how we Muslims, we yeah. call the same, yeah. I yeah. believe this. Is, so, uh, which which language do you read the Bible in? Which language? Uh, in English. Oh, English? Yeah. Or oh, you read in English, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's another thing I want to point out to you. Jesus was not an Englishman. So, they have translated... 100%. They changed. And they, even, no. they didn't even translate it from the language of Jesus, which is Aramaic. Aramaic, yeah. They translated it from Greek. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the original Bible they have, like you can have in the British Museum, is yeah. about 300 something years after Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's in the Greek language. Greek language. Uh, in fact, the word Bible, Bible itself is a Greek word, Greek Bible. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes from the word Biblos. Yeah. It's a collection of books, the Bible. Mm -hmm. So the people who wrote the Bible, the actually the Matthew, Mark, Luke and John that yeah. you see in the Bible, they're not people who met Jesus Christ. They're just writing an historical account of what they think or who they think Jesus was. See, they're not eyewitnesses. They never sat and lived with Jesus. They're not disciples. But they make us feel like they were disciples. They didn't, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to believe about yeah, yeah. So I'm telling you because no, we, we... Some people say that... This no, no, because we study the Bible and we, we, we have done this. We have done research on this and we found out that the, these people are being attributed to the Bible. They're not actually people who sat with Jesus Christ and spoke to him and, and lived with him. No. So this is the Matthew... And another thing, I'm asking you this thing. Yeah, sure. You know the people who wrote the Bible is Mark, Matthew, Luke and John? Yeah. What are their second names? Nobody knows who they are. Yeah, exactly. They're anonymous people. Yeah. You see, nobody knows. There's no biography of them. Nobody knows their history. Who are these people? They, might, who? they even not existed. Exactly. So we don't really know them. Exactly. But it's attributed to them. You understand? And yet they're not disciples. Even they say, if you see in their introduction, they're saying, we're just giving account what they think, they think yeah. their thoughts about it. So that's why it's not accurate, you know? That's why I was saying the book which God communicates with you directly is the Quran. If you want to talk to God, you read the Quran. He's telling you exactly the message direct from God. So you, you will see the Quran is different. It's not like the other books. It's God talking to you directly. So when you read the Quran, God is telling you everything directly. And it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over a period of 23 years.
you know and up to today there's a challenge inside the Quran Really? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying this video and benefiting from it. Something that's come to our attention, what we've noticed is nearly 90% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel. We want to make you guys aware that One True Message Foundation is completely non-for-profit. We are a non-profit organization and subsequently we've turned off all advertising on YouTube. What we need you guys to do is share the khair with us, subscribe, like and share this video to anybody else that you think may benefit. A small action but we want you guys to share the reward and help spread the One True Message. Jazakumullah khair brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The challenge is for those people who read the Quran and if they have any doubts, God is saying that if you are in doubt to what we have revealed to our servant Muhammad, peace be upon him, all you have to do is produce a single chapter like it. Just a small chapter, which is about three verses. Up to this day, for nearly 1500 years, no one has met this challenge. And the Quran, not only this, all in its, all its context, it's scientifically correct, historically correct, grammatically correct. In every aspect you check the Quran, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. There's absolutely no more. And it can only come from the Creator Himself. Yeah. I mean, there's, even they say the same. Everybody say this is a miracle. Even if you take, I know the other day my friend was trying to do an experiment. He took this new program. It's called Chat GPT. Have you heard about it? Yeah, Chat GPT? No, no. You haven't heard about it? No. He said that, can you reproduce something like the Quran? He says, you can't. This is a, even the Chat they said this is impossible. AI can't, you know? They said that, you know? So what I'm saying to you, this is what mankind needs to know their purpose in life, to know what is exactly you need to do in your life, to succeed in this life and in the next life, because we have a purpose in life. The purpose in life is to believe and worship the one and only true God. Yeah. And we can only worship the only, one and only true God by following the prophets and messengers whom he sent. And the last and final messenger has already come, which is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if you want Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, Peace be upon him, the last and final mission. Yeah, so if, if you want success, my brother, it's for you to believe in him and to follow his way. You will have success in this life and in the next life. It's simple as this. I will Google it, you know. Yeah, I can give you some literature if you want uh, about the Prophet Muhammad. I Come this way. No. no, no, not the Quran, the, the, the history of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You know, we have um, here, uh, no, that's, we need the English one. Have you got an English biography? Uh, we run out of English. Oh, we run out of English. Oh, the last messenger. This is quite nice. This talks about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's a summarizer. Yeah? The last messenger. A, is that in English? Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah. 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 It's in English language. Yeah. So, my friend, learn about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then, if you find that he's a truthful, righteous person, a messenger of God, then you believe in him and follow his way and you will succeed in this life and in the next life. But I believe in this life. You already it's believe? There. Are you ready to follow him? Are you ready? Well, I, you know, as I say that... You don't know, you need to learn about it a little exactly, bit. Yeah. You know, Inshallah, I'm I sure... Believe, I believe in this since day one. You since know, day one. Right. No. I'm sure you will come to the right conclusion. You will come. I, 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 do, I know, but yeah. it takes time, you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. But never mind, you read. It traditions yeah. of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You have a Quran already? Yeah, I've got the Quran as well. Yes, you read the Quran as well. Weird. Yeah. 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 Because I know. Inshallah. Studying me and doing amazing things. Yeah. What's your name, my friend? Tiger. Tiger. It's nice to meet you, yeah? What's your name? My name is Muhammad. Muhammad. Nice to meet you. Yeah? Sorry, my hand. Oh, yeah. This, oh, yeah. This, uh, yeah. Take care. Stuff. Oh, no problem. Thank you very much, yeah? Any questions? You. I will. Because I've seen you guys quite often. Oh, you, you live around here? Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So we're here every Saturday. Okay. You're welcome, yeah? Thank you. Kaida, take care, man. Yeah. Nice one. Okay. Okay.